this is Lori from Shoe Shoe Paper Art here with another video for Halloween Party 2015. And today it is a magic slider card. These were popular some time ago, but I'm thinking they need to be brought back. This is pretty cool. What looks like a plain image becomes magic when somebody pulls on the tab. So when they pull this tab up, it looks like the image is ma miraculously or magically turning into color. Isn't that cool? So that's what we're going to make today. So let's start with the frame. You want to make the frame about two inches bigger than your image and then probably two and a half inches longer. Um, it really kind of depends on your image, but I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so you're going to need three pieces to make the frame. You're going to need a top piece that has a window cut. You're going to need the middle piece, which is solid, and a back piece that is bigger than the front by three-fourths, excuse me, three-fourths of an inch on all sides except for the top so that you have tabs to close the pocket. Okay, the way that I got the size of the window is um, based on my image. So here's the size of my image and if I lay this over it, you can see that the frame needs to come over just a little bit, top and bottom, and you want the window to be a little bit smaller. So I figured out what that was, and I just simply made a uh, template for the window. Now, if you are really, really good with a craft knife, you can just cut that window out with a ruler and a craft knife. But I have to tell you, I am terrible with a craft knife. I always mess things up when I try to use a knife. So I avoid them like the plague. So what I did is I just drew around um, my template and then placed it in my paper cutter and would cut like from here to about here just so I didn't cut all the way through. And then I used my scissors just to finish off the window. And that works really well for me. You just do what you're comfortable with. Okay, the next step is that all three pieces that you have cut will need um, a little notch at the top. And you could use a circle punch or a circle die to um, get that little notch made. Um, you want them to be as much as possible in the same spot. When you have your uh, back panel cut, you're going to want to, let me turn that over so you can kind of see the difference. You're going to want to score along the sides and along the bottom and then cut out the little corners that are made so that you can fold it in easily. All right, the first thing we're going to do is put the middle piece in and fold the tabs over on it. Let's make sure they, they fit. See how this is bowing up just a little bit? So I am going to go cut this yellow piece just a little bit on each side because I want to keep this in the same spot. And then it will fit so much better. Okay, so here I am back. I've cut the yellow just a little bit smaller, so we want to amend it by saying the yellow piece, the solid piece in the middle, needs to be just slightly smaller than your, uh, than your frame so that it'll all fit together. Um, the other thing I'm going to do to this bottom uh, tab is I'm going to go ahead and angle those just a little bit so that that will also be easier to fit. Oops, let's make sure we do that the right way. Okay. Now, let's glue that in. Okay. I'm going to put 
put some glue on the bottom tab first and close that up. And then I will be ready to put my front frame on. All right, so we already have a pocket, but we need one more pocket, and so the frame will help us make that. This is just going to go right on top. Like this. I wanna be sure that I don't glue the top window frame to the solid piece, only glue it to the tabs. the magic slider frame put together. Okay, so now we're going to make the um, actual slider piece. Okay, so I'm going to untie this one and slip out the piece that's inside so you can see how it's put together. I'm going to have to take that out as well. Okay. All right. So we have a transparency piece on top. The actual image colored on the bottom. And we have this little bar or a piece of cardstock that keeps it from pulling completely out of the frame. And then we also have um, this that holds everything neatly together and a pull tab. The pull tab, along with the Halloween Magic tab here, are free downloads on my blog. And I'll have that linked for you so it'll be easy to find. Um, so let's take a look at how to make this. You're going to need your finished work as well as the image stamped on a transparency. Now, for the transparency, you'll want to use stays on um, black ink so that um, it will not smear on your transparency. And don't cut your transparency the same size as your finished work until you've stamped it because you, you're going to need more room to move it around and make sure you've got it in exactly the right spot because if you have it off a little bit, the image will look funny. So you don't want that. So stamp it on a, a paper bigger, a piece of transparency bigger so that you have room to work, okay? So the first step is to line that image up And then, once you've got it all lined up, then you can cut it. So I'm going to go cut this and I'll be right back. Okay, so once you've got the transparency cut to fit, you can put the yellow, or mine's yellow, <laughs> bar on the bottom. Now, the thing about the bar is, go ahead and add, oh, about half an inch to the length so that you have so it won't pull out of the bag or pocket and just glue it to the back. You may need to adjust it just a little bit. You might have to cut off a little bit on each end for it to fit perfectly, but that's okay. Just so that you have enough to work with. You don't want it to be too short. I'm going to line that transparency up as best I can. Okay, and I have a little uh, black circle cut that I'm going to put over the top, fold it in half. But before I do that, I'm going to take the tab piece and glue it to the back half of the circle. Put 
this over the top. Make sure it's still lined up. And then I'm just going to staple it all together. And that is the inside piece. Okay. Now I think one of the hardest things to do it actually <laughs> is to get the um, pieces threaded in the right way. So um, you want the artwork or the piece that you've actually completed with color to go in the back pocket. So you're going to slip that in to the back pocket. You want the transparency to only go into the front pocket. All right, there we go. Okay. Once you have it in there, you are ready to put the strings through. The strings go across the pockets and keep it from um, uh, that middle piece from pulling all the way out. So when somebody pulls the tab, they don't pull it all the way through and out. You want it to stay in the pocket. And you don't have to have two strings. Um, I just was using two because I like the colors together. And I've pulled it out and put it in so many times I've got frayed edges. Normally you won't untie this so you won't have to worry about that. Okay, get those all tied in and then you're ready to have some little Halloween color magic. Alright, Halloween magic, pull the tab, tells them what to do, they pull it out, and voila, it's magic. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you how I did the moon and the background and watercoloring of this image. So, moving on to that. Okay, so if you have seen the video of Batty, then you already know pretty much how I'm going to do this. It's just a little bit different with the masking. This is a piece of masking paper and I've die cut it into a circle and that is going to make the moon part of, and keep it from getting um, any of the distress inks in that area. So let's peel that off and then I'm just going to place it where I want the moon to be. And by the way, this is a 140 pound watercolor paper. And I've cut a piece of transparency the same size as my um, uh, watercolor paper. Goodness. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use Distress Inks to create the background. And I'm just going to slip my watercolor paper underneath so I can kind of see where the moon is. I don't have a whole lot of space to work with, but I do want to try to get it to be a little bit lighter around the moon and a little bit darker on the edges. So just having that as a guide helps. So this is um, spun sugar, and I'm just going to take that all the way around the moon. Okay, next I'm going with shaded lilac a little bit of evergreen bow and some chipped sapphire my little thing out and give all of that some misting, just water. And 
and smush it. Now I'm going to give this a blow dry. I'll be right back. All right, now I'm back from giving this a blow dry and I'm going to peel off the masking paper and I have a nice place for my boot to be. And now I'm ready to stamp the image. Now for watercoloring, VersaFine um, ink is a good choice. Dries fast, it doesn't bleed. I did with this image is since the pumpkin was kind of down in the in the uh, background I'm going to go ahead and stamp the pumpkin part again and then after I've watercolored the pumpkin part I will cut it out All right, I'm using my um, Angora watercolors, and I will speed this up so it won't take too terribly long. If you've seen the Batty video and a couple of the other ones, and you know the techniques I'm going to use. through with the um, pumpkin. I cut it out and I used a little bit of distress ink on the edges to make it darker. Let me show you this one. So you can see that's a little bit darker around the edges. I cut out the pumpkin and the leaves and acorn and just glued it right on. Okay, let me show you um, real quickly how I did the, uh, the moon. I did a mixture of yellow and crystal um, glitter and just put it here in this old bottle that I had. I like to use Elmer's and old brushes for um, glitter. Put Elmer's on and then sprinkle it with glitter and tap it off and then repeat in all the sections. And if I had a little spot that didn't quite take, because remember this is um, very thick, rough paper, and I've got a little spot right there, I don't know if you can see it really well or not, that didn't take the glitter. So I'm gonna use a smaller brush and just reapply a little bit more glue in that area and sprinkle it again. Like that. And I used my smaller brush to get between the legs and underneath his belly and up in here and in the uh, tail area and in here especially. So a smaller brush for smaller areas and I just continued working in that manner. Okay, so I think that that is all the steps for the magic slider card. Remember that you can download the Halloween magic and the little tab as part of the Halloween party 2015. I just think somebody would think this was so fun to be able to slide that out and watch the magic. 
Thank you for joining me. You remember you can find me at shushupaperart.com. Thank you.